channel, hope you've all had a wonderful day. Today's video is my empties for May. Um, so I did go back through my old videos and figure out where we were up to with my totals. Um, and so my goal for the year was 350, which thinking about it is quite a steep step. However, um, I totaled up January, February, March and April's empties and that got us to 124. Um, so, you know, we might be able to do it. Um, I am wearing these because my eyes hurt at the minute. I don't normally wear them unless I'm watching TV. I do have some blue light ones, um, but they are like reflecting so much of myself, obviously, um, that I'm just wearing regular ones for the minute. I don't have any makeup on. It's a fresh face. Um, but I have my trusty basket of crap <laughs> ready to share with you guys um so i think i've actually done pretty well this month um been using up a lot of samples um and there are a few items in here that i've just got rid of which i will explain the reason why at the end or when i get to them rather um but yeah so here's my basket for may let's get into it Right, uh, so the first product I have is actually in front of me because it won't fit in the basket. It is the Yankee Candle Strawberries and Cream. And this was amazing. I really, really love this. And I got this for my birthday from my aunt and uncle. Um, it's a 340 gram one. So it's like, not the mini, not the big, but in the middle. Um, and it is lovely. I really enjoyed it. And I'm super sad it's gone. Um, I do intend to pour... Um, hot water in it to see if I can kind of draw out the wax and maybe get some wax melts out of it. Um, so we shall see. So there's that. Um, I have a few of these ones. Now some of you may have seen these in the project pan I put up that I was going to do. Um, but these are old. Um, I actually think I got these when I started my channel two years ago, if not a little bit more. Um, and they all have 12 months on, I believe. Yeah, they're all sort of a 12 month use up, so they were way past, um, like, the use by. Um, the toner was okay, um, but I went through a bit of a stage earlier on in the year. You might have seen a video where I talk about it. Um, where my skin, skin just got really sore and rashy and horrible um, and I think it was because I was using old products. Um, so I did dispose of everything in these, um, so they are going. It was the Seaweed Oil Control Gel Cream, the Oil Balancing Toner and the Overnight um, Gel. Now I love the Body Shop um, but I just don't think their skincare is quite for me. I do love the smell of this stuff but I don't have as oily skin as I used to when I bought this. My skin now is quite dry, um, so I don't particularly have a use for this, what's the word, this range. Um, and I just didn't get on with the aloe vera or the vitamin E from the body shop. So they're gone. Um, I have quite a few packs of wipes because I was trying to use them up. So the first one is the Pure 3-in-1 Makeup Removal ones. I believe I got these at Christmas um, and they were a pound. These are actually really nice. They smell lovely. Um, but I tend not to use wipes. Um, but I was using them up. Waste not, want not. So there's those. Um, I actually bought this today. So it's not used, but this is. Um... It's the Antibacterial Hand Wash Fuchsia and Acai Berry, and it smells incredible. Um, I got this from the range, and it was only £1.50. It's a refill bottle, um, so I filled up our dispenser. There's still quite a bit in there, actually. I might go and give that another squeeze and get rid of it. But it smells amazing, um, and I quite like the fact it's a refill bottle, um, which is really, really nice. Um... But yeah, I was impressed with the smell of this. So head down to the range if you're planning on getting something snazzy because this smells amazing. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I finished, well, I say I, 
dry. Um, I had the Maui Moisture Coconut Milk uh, Shampoo and Conditioner for Dry Hair. Um, I bought this a long time ago as well in Boots. Um, I think they were about $7.99 each. Um, so they they were an expensive brand, but they are completely like no synthetic dyes, no oils, so no sulfates, no SLS, no silicones, no mineral oils. It's vegan, pure coconut water, and pure al aloe juice. Um, so yeah, they're completely natural. They do bubble up quite nicely, um, but yeah, Dre really enjoyed using these. I don't think I really got much of a look in. Um, the bottles were a nightmare to get product out of though, they don't particularly squeeze. Um, but yeah, they're a nice product, I probably wouldn't repurchase just because they're so expensive and I don't feel like they did very much, my hair is still very dry. Um, and this is from using no heat on it, it's just quite dry at the minute. Um, but yeah, there's both. I'm making a bit of a mess now. Um, I have another couple of packets of wipes and bear with. Um, I have some butt wipes. <laughs> um, uh, so these are the Saxon Soft um, flushable toilet wipes. I love these and find it weird going for a number two without using one. I'm just gonna leave that there. Makes my butt feel fresh. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. Um, we don't have any at the minute, which makes me feel quite sad. Um, but they're a product I will always buy. Um, I have some Primark H2O micellar wipes. I didn't actually like these at all. Um, I think Dre ended up using quite a few on his face. Um, I ended up just sort of using them every now and again. They've taken ages to use up because I just really don't like them. Um, I've got some Cozy Soft and Baby Wipes. Um, I use these a lot just for out and about, cleaning my hands and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, 95p, they were pretty good. And then I have the Skin Techniques Tea Tree Wipes. Again, got these for Christmas, I believe. Maybe I bought them, I can't remember. They weren't much to rave about, I have to say, so I probably wouldn't repurchase these. Um, but they were so strong in tea tree, um, so if that's what you're looking for, maybe they'd be good for you. I just didn't particularly like them. But there's those. Um, I have a bottle of Asda toilet gel, it was pretty good, removes lime scale. Uh, we got a new toilet put in, so I don't really have much lime scale on my toilet, um, but I did like that gel, that was nice. Uh, I have two foot packs. Um, I got given this one actually, which was nice, um, but this is the Skimono um, Total Conditioning. I have had this for quite a while in my collection. And I think it might have gone off. It didn't smell nice at all. I don't know if maybe that's just how it's meant to smell, but I didn't like the smell. My feet felt really soft and moisturized afterwards though. So I suppose it did its job if you ignore the smell. So that was pretty good. And then this one that I got given um, is an exfoliating foot peel, tea tree and peppermint. Um, so I did leave this on for 90 minutes as it says to, and then it says that in seven to 10 days, um, the skin will start to peel. Um, so I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I'm not excited for my feet to flake, um, but I'm willing to give it a go. My feet have been really dry at the minute because I'm living in sort of flip flops and Crocs. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get as much moisture and dead skin off as possible. So this was really handy to receive. Uh, I have a nail varnish remover. This is the Primark Love Your Nails. Um, it's only a pound, um, but it's pretty good. Did the job. Not much more I can say about it. Uh, what else have I got? I finished up a sun cream. This sun cream I have definitely had for a couple of years. Factor 30 Bronzing Protection Sun Lotion. I don't tan. I am pasty, so I burn and then go back to white. Um, but I do have a really random section that's about that big um, on my ankle that is tanned. Um, but yeah, I'm working my way through bottles of sun cream that I've just had for ages. I've got a Factor 8 
I didn't even know that was a thing and I feel like I might have like a factor six as well. Um, so I have those and I'm just applying them constantly if I'm sat in the garden, just use them up. Um, and I feel like fa factor six and factor eight don't protect you from anything. So yeah, the more I can kind of use them up, the better. I don't wanna just get rid of them because I feel like that's a waste. So I figure if I just apply it lots, hopefully I won't burn. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, some of you might have seen this recently in my simple haul video. Um, this is the Vital Vitamin Night Cream. This stunk. Um, now, all the other simple things I have are not scented. They don't smell of anything. If anything, they just smell creamy. They just don't smell of anything. This smells so chemically and horrible um, that I've actually had to just declutter it. It's vile. Every time I put it on my face, it just, oh, the smell was just really horrible. So I don't know if maybe I just got a bad batch, um, but either way, this is leaving because it stinks. Um, but my other half picked me up a night cream in Asda the other day, along with a couple of sample, um, simple bits because he didn't really know what he was looking for. Um, and yeah, they smell lovely and they haven't affected my skin. Um, I'm sticking to cheaper skincare at the minute just because I feel like it doesn't probably have as many products in it as the more expensive ones and the more expensive ones seem to be the ones that are affecting my skin so yeah for the minute I'm sticking with simple and cheap skincare I think I've just been bitten on my leg it's itchy um, so yeah that's gone <laughs> Um, I'm getting rid of these two face cream, um, face sun creams. They're both Factor 30 and they're the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration. Um, but they've got a really funny texture and I feel like I was given one and one I've just had for a really long time. Um, I suppose I could use them on my like body but I don't know if you can see they've got like really weird bits and I just yeah I, I really don't like them so they're leaving they're about halfway through anyway so I don't feel too bad getting rid of those but they're just not something I want to put on my face at the minute so that's gone I did find um and you guys probably saw it in my haul it's a sorry I'm itching my leg um I've got a simple face cream with SPF 30 in it it was seven pound, which is quite expensive really, for a face SPF. Um, but I'd rather put that on my face knowing it's okay than something that I've had in my cupboard for a long time. So yeah, I'm being better with my skincare. That is my my thing. Um, I have a couple of things that I am just getting rid of because they've been in the cupboard for ages. Um, so the first is the Full Marks 5 minute treatment for knits i bought this absolutely ages ago we've got to be going back maybe three years um because i found um obviously i work with children so i found a knit on my jumper and i bought this stuff and i made dre check my hair i checked his hair could not find a knit um so i figure as it's moved house with us i probably don't need it anymore and it went out of date in 2017 so it's definitely a goer. The other thing I have, because um, I've got weird armpits, you guys know if you've been with me a while that I have to use natural deodorant. Um, I went to the doctors about it absolutely ages ago and they gave me this Anhydrol Forte Cutaneous Solution, um, the topical treatment, sorry I've got a shaky leg, um, the to topical treatment of hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating. Um, and it contains aluminium chloride. Now I, if I remember rightly, think that aluminium is what affects my armpits. Um, and this, when you put it on, itches like an absolute bitch. Um, like it's awful. Um, and it does say like, don't put on broken or irritated skin. But at the time my skin under my armpits was fine because I had to wait for ages for it to heal. Um, and oh my god, it was like I wanted it to tear off my own armpit skin. But this has been in my cupboard for ages. Um, like I got given it in 2015 on prescription. So I figure it's probably time to get rid of it. So yeah, it's going. 
Um, what else have I got? Uh, I've got a Corsadil mouthwash, um, bleeding gums, irritated gums, mouth ulcers. I have problems with my wisdom teeth. God, this is like a video before I tell you everything that's wrong with me. Um, yeah, I have problems with my wisdom teeth. They're still growing through, but they're growing at an angle, which is really annoying. Um, so sometimes my teeth get sore, um, and it's always handy to have a bottle of this around, because otherwise you get like infections and stuff, and that's not nice. So yeah, this stuff is really handy. I'm running out of space on the table in front of me now to like stick stuff. Um, I finished up as the Flora. This was the Hello Spring one, um, which is really nice. Um, I like the Flora. I believe it's not good for pets though. Fill me in if you know what I'm talking about or if I'm talking crap, let me know. Or is there a pet safe one? There might be a pet safe one. But either way, I've just used this on the loo brush, um, in the kitchen sink, um, and in the bath. So not really anywhere the cat goes, but still. Um, you know. Um, I finished up the Fuji Green Tea Body Wash. This was really nice. Um, I received it as a gift and it, it was really nice. It smells lovely. I do like that scent. So that's good. Um, oh, there's another head lice treatment. This, when does this expire? 2017. So I would have bought this at the same time as the other one. So that's going. Uh, I've got the pineapple shower smoothie um that's really nice um i feel like i might have used one of these already but yeah it's really nice so that's quite quite a nice one to have got it in a set um i've got the anti-aging cc cream for colored hair um that was nice i did enjoy it i think i got it in latest in beauty box maybe um took me ages to use it up it's only 50 mil but it did take me a really long time to use it up because i only sort of put it like on from here down i need to put something on this um but yeah it was, it was a nice product i did enjoy it um i finished up my cranberries and cream hand cream from patisserie de bain i didn't like it i found it really thick and stodgy so I won't be repurchasing. <laughs> but yeah, I used it. So that's pretty good. Um, I had another Coco and Eve, like a virgin mask. I said it in my last empties. I don't really rate it. I actually thought it did nothing to my hair. Um, maybe it's my type of hair. But I had a lady on my last video comment and say that it didn't do anything to her hair either. So don't be fooled by the expensive brands. Um, make sure you can sort of sample it before you buy the big ones. Um, I have a candle. This is the Wildflower Sunkissed Peony. Um, I did get all the candle out, but I couldn't burn it the whole way down. So I feel like I might have done a couple of these. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think I have. Um, but yeah, this was a nice candle. I got it for my sister for Christmas. Um, I don't actually know where it's from. I feel like it might have been like a, Pi a Primark one, but like a posh one. I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know because I did really like this candle. And I got the rest of the wax out to use in my um, wax burner. Which... Does anyone else think that wax burners seem to take a really long time to burn down a wax melt? Because I've got one in my wax burner right now that I genuinely think has been there for two years. Because I, I can't get rid of it. Two years is probably an exaggeration, but still, it's been there a long time. Uh, next up, I have the Wickford & Co gingerbread diffuser. It smells very gingerbready. It was nice. Um, it wasn't particularly strong to scent the entire room because I had it in my bathroom. Um, but it was nice. I did like it. It, it does smell very gingerbready and Wickford and Co do great candles and smelly bits. So that's home bargains for you. Uh, I have another native deodorant. Um, it's just a little mini one, this charcoal scent. Um, I can't get any more out of it again. Um, I do still have one to send to a lovely lady. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't been anywhere yet. I um, haven't been to a post office yet. But yeah, these are pretty good. I do intend to try the Wild brand um, maybe next month. 
um, just because they're a British company, so I won't get charged custom charges. Um, I have a um, Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, it's been here ages, I think it was in a project plan, um, but it is finally gone. It's funny, you think there's so much left in concealers, and there is like a tiny bit left in it, but I've had it a long time and I think it's time it just went. So there's that. And then lastly, I have six tea lights. Um, they're all different scents, but yeah, I use them for the wax burner. So yeah, that is all my empties for the month of May. Um, I'm just gonna count up and then we will write down what we've got so we don't lose track. Um, so six of those. Whoop. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 40. We have a grand total of 40 items. So if we add that on to the 124 I had before, that is 164 items so far. So only, oh gosh, my brain, uh, only 190 to go, I believe. If I'm wrong, someone correct me because I know my maths is crap. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. If you want any more information about any of the products I used or where I got them from, then...